here we are for another review and I know it's been a while since I've been updated and I haven't been doing a very good job at it and I'm sorry for that so I can't say here we are for another review appropriately because it's been a while since I've actually made a review it's been a whole month wow I cannot believe I've gone that long without making a review for you guys and I'm sorry for it but I've been having a hard time keeping my channel up to date and it's really been hard really been discouraging actually and but hopefully starting soon I'll be able to get back to my every Saturday schedule and my channel has just done, been doing very well we are almost to 200 subscribers wow and like the last time I posted I wasn't even at 100 yet if that doesn't give you anything so I'm surprised my subscriber count has actually still been moving up and I'm very happy for it. I believe we got, like, in one week, I got 21 subscribers. And then in another, I got 19. And then last week, I got one subscriber. So it wasn't as good, but... But I am here, back to start posting again. Hopefully, every single Saturday, very soon. And so we're back to the second Black Racer. My second Black Racer custom after Claude Scruggs. Today we are reviewing Todd Marcus. And yes, I did make this myself where pretty much like as you saw with Claude, everywhere that was yellow is black now. And with Todd, everywhere that was red is now black now. So yeah, as you see, I made this from a China Custom Todd. It wasn't an official release Todd. And yeah, you do see he's all black and with his headlights and a grill and the number 123 and you still see the turquoise is still there. No stall on the hood compared to what it used to be. You see he has punchy wipeout eyelids now. And the blue wheels. Yeah, you could really see that these are not official releases. And here's the base, the China Custom. And his contingency sponsors still are the Piston Cup, Vitaline Revolt, and RPM Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid 123. Like 123. On the roof, you do see he has a turquoise roof. No stall. Still the same, really, at the back here. So, except you do see there is a little bit of black here. No stall on the trunk. Tail lights, and with a little bit of black on the back as well. No stall on the back as well. And black around the trim there nothing really too much honestly it wasn't as big of a difference as Claude like Claude it was almost like a whole new car because he he's almost all black now because he originally had black Todd has a lot of colors so almost it honestly I think I like the way Claude came out better but still Todd came out okay so as you see here is the way he looks compared to the way he looked as red. And yeah, you do see on the back there, it's now black. Same as right here where it used to be a little bit red, there's now black. A pretty good uh, custom, I don't want to brag. And then also you just see it probably will made more sense to do the cars one because I think it will have looked a little better because he didn't have all those extra colors, but still. And yes, I do got two more black racers to come that, that I will be reviewing, but I will not be revealing who they are until then. So yeah, I don't know what what else to really cover up on them. I guess for laughs and giggles we can. Compare them to Cars 1 Todd as well. Yeah. And for laughs as well, Jonas Carvers, who have honestly been another good looking car for the series. Yeah, and so I guess that's pretty much it. So, yeah, you will see me start to update more. Don't worry about it. I ain't leaving. I'm just having a hard time keeping up to date. So yeah, 
Thank you for joining me on this video. Which do you like better, the original Todd or the new Todd? Well, this Todd or Cars Free Todd or Black Todd, Marcus. Or you can even throw in the Cars 1 if you like. And which snow stall racer is officially your favorite? Put it in the comments right now. Well, if you want. So yeah, thank you for joining it me on this review and join me for another review of another car. Bye!